Their mission is simple, enabling young children to reach their full potential. The Boys and Girls Club of Miami-Dade has been working for decades to turn our kids into productive and responsible members of society. Club President and CEO Alex Rodriguez Roy joins us to chat about their program. Welcome, Alex. Thank you for having me. So I know that one of the programs that people show the most interest in is the teen program. They find that you know they probably don't have a lot of activities or ideas as to what to do with their teens. Mm -hmm. They tend to be rebellious years, <laughs> a lot of downtime maybe that needs to be put to good use. What does this program entail, and what yeah, do you offer? Yeah, that's a, and that's a great question. I mean, the 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 program is essentially for those kids obviously 13, 14, 15, 16, yeah. and, and all the way to through high school. The, uh, of course, at that age, they know everything. They don't need you and me. They don't need anybody. They know everything, right? Or they think they know everything. Of course. I hope you're being sarcastic. Of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, then they realize that they really don't know everything. Right. But the whole program, what it, what it is, is, t is teaching kids about life. I mean, yeah. look, the, the truth is sometimes they're struggling with a lot of issues related to friendship. And, you know, these are, while some as adults you might look at as minor issues, they're really big issues for yeah, them. Yeah, they are. Whether it's friendship, peer pressure, what to do, what not to do, dating, all those type of Popular, things. Popular, coolness factor. All that. Yeah. And now, especially with social media, it's a big issue as well. Yeah. So we tackle all those issues at the clubs. Uh, what happens is the staff becomes mentors to them. These are mentors. These are folks that I don't feel comfortable going to mom or dad or, or, or grandma or whoever it is, but I feel more comfortable going to someone that I see at the club every day that's there for me. So what happens is we have these programs, not only for those type of programs, but volunteer programs, teach them about giving back. We help them give back to the other kids at the clubs, the, old, the, the younger kids or mm -hmm. something to within the club, painting, those type of things. So the idea is to keep them engaged, uh, keep them uh, motivated, and get them ready for life with all these different types of life programs. And so what does someone have to do if they'd like to participate? For example, if you're a teenager right now watching this interview mm -hmm. and you would like to know more, I mean, do you have to come from a, an, uh, I don't know, from a certain type of family mm -hmm. or income level or can anyone just join? Sure, and that's a question we get often. Our mission says for those who need us most, if you're coming to us, you need us. It's that simple. That's it. That's it. It's that simple. Um, no questions asked? No questions asked. No, we don't, we don't care where you come from or what you're doing or nothing like that. We, you know, it, it's mm -hmm. just you, if your parent or you come to us and say, look, I really want to join the club, that's it. That's all we need to know. What's the biggest uh, obstacle you face when trying to, I don't want to say recruit kids, but trying to uh, share everything that you have, all the services you have. Do you, do you find that, especially at the teenage stage, mm -hmm. do you find they resist a little bit not wanting to go? Um, yes, of course. At first, and there's a, that first element of I don't know the unknown, afraid of the fear of the unknown kind of thing. And so it, it takes a while. You got to talk to them, convince them, bring them to the club. Say, look, just walk around. No commitment. Just look. Yeah. Just go and look. And they say, okay, that looks kind of cool. I know they see somebody. I think I know that person. Or I some, because a lot of them come to the same schools. So when they start to get comfortable with that, it changes, it changes the dynamics. And the next you know, you have these kids that were kind of quiet or going around the wrong path. Yeah. All of a sudden, they, they, they change. And at that age, it's very critical because we all, as, as adults, we all want to be part of a group. Yes. Call it group, a gang, whatever. They, we need them to yeah, be part of the right gang. Yeah, we have a sense of belonging yes. that we need. Yeah. So we need them to be part of the right group, right? So, they, so better join a Boys and Girls Club then it, it becomes really interesting for them. Really quickly, because we only have 30 seconds left, but can you give me a concrete example of a life that you changed through the organization? Maybe somebody who you know was going down the wrong path and joined and then turned their life uh, around. Oh, well, we could sit here for probably three I hours know. and talk about all these different <laughs> stories. Know. But a quick one that just comes to mind right now, there was a young lady that uh, her mom, unfortunately, was on drugs. Her whole life, she lived in a crack house. And the club was the one, the place that she could escape that she knew she was safe. Wow. Um, she was able, we were able to get her to go to college. She went to college. She's graduated now. She has her bachelor's in marketing. She's doing great. She's on her own. She's rehabbed her mom. She's rehabbed her mom. Yes, her mom's. Oh, you know, so the it's gift like, that keeps on giving. Yes, exactly. So I mean, that's uh, you know, in a quick thirty seconds, that's one that comes to Thank mind. Thank you. About 100. That was really great. Thank you. <laughs> Take care. Thank you. Uh, today's newsmaker has been Alex Rodriguez Roig. I'm Natalia Ortiz. Thank you for joining us.